Listen, Jerron Boots Ennis is a beast. I'm gonna explain why in this video. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Listen, I don't know how you got to my video, but somehow you found me, you made it. Please help others arrive at the content with a free and simple gesture by throwing a like on this video. Takes a few seconds, simple, it's painless, and it helps others to find the content. Now, I seen a clip there was a boxing show overseas and a fighter who was undefeated. His name was Tersebe Kula Kulamet. You know, his name is kind of hard to pronounce for me. But let me give you guys the backstory. This guy is a Southpaw. He had about 80 something amateur fights and he was an MTK fighter who was being primed Southpaw had some good, pretty good amateur experience, almost 100 fights, like 80 something fights in the amateurs. And he was on his way as a pro. He was the favorite here and he was negative 2000. So he was a heavy favorite. He fought a guy tonight and got knocked out. His name, the opponent that he fought, his name is Juan Carlos Abreu. Now, the important thing is here, and I know some people are scratching their head and raising their eyebrow like, yo, Ego, why did you start the video off like that and say Jerron Boots Ennis is a beast to talk about another fight? And I'm going to explain to you right now. So let me tie it all in for you. So the guy that got the knockout, again, Abreu, his name is Juan Carlos Abreu, and he's from the Dominican Republic. He's from the DR and he knocked out this MTK prospect viciously. That's the clip you guys seen at the beginning of the video. It looked like a single shot too, right? And he wins the fight via knockout. And this was a major upset. The guy, the opponent, the MTK fighter, and it was an MTK card, was negative 2,000. So if you spend $100, you would have won $2,000 on Abreu. This is why. Abreu was just brought in as an opponent and he was coming directly off of the loss to Jerron Boots Ennis. So the sports book and the betters and the betting odds, they didn't really have faith because guess what? That boy from Philly, Jerron Boots Ennis, slaughtered Abreu. Now, what makes Jerron Ennis even more special, which is why I started the video like this, is because now you guys can see the picture forming. This is a mutual opponent who just coming off of a loss knocked out a, a prospect a mtk prospect from kazakhstan and kazakhstan is the same place where Gennady golovkin and some other guys are from and they have a good boxing program and he pulled the massive upset so that's a testament to jerron boots ennis and i feel like jerron boots ennis even though brayu wasn't a big name or brayu he had a couple losses like he had five losses or something like that but the special thing is he had never been stopped and the fight was supposed to be contested at 147 and this dude abreu he ended up missing weight jerron boots ennis he didn't make a fuss about it and he decided to let the guy come in comfortable and they rescheduled the weight just like they did in the UFC recently with Paulo Acosta, right? And the Marvin dude, Marvin Vittori, right? So they adjusted the weight and Jerron Ennis said, whatever, he missed weight, I'll fight him at the new weight. So Jerron Ennis, a welterweight, ended up fighting at 150 plus pounds because this guy couldn't make weight. And then now, after Jerron Boots Ennis slaughtered him and he was coming off of a nasty knockout. I mean, the uppercut, disgusting from Jerron Ennis. And I watched this fight in real time, right? I watched the Boots Ennis fight in real time and was highly impressed with his work and how he put it together. Very slick stuff, sharp shooter. And this was before the Sergey Lipinitz performance from Jerron Boots Ennis. Another reason that I wanted to make this video and get you guys hyped is because guess what? On Showtime tonight, Jerron Boots Ennis is fighting. He's on the undercard of Jamal James. So I want to make people aware so they can check out for him. Usually I'm pretty good with the eye test and giving people their props before they get the props and become champions. I put many, many people on Errol Spence Jr. 
and Terrence Crawford. And I'm not talking about when they fought and become champions and undisputed. I'm talking about when Terrence Crawford had dreads and nobody knew who he was, right? It was my channel that put people on because I, I like to do my research. And Jerome Boots Ennis, I've been high up on him. I, I see shades of Roy Jones Jr. And to see his opponent coming directly off a loss and destroy a, a prospect in upset, huge upset fashion, that is a testament to how good Jerron Ennis is. Again, Jerron Ennis fought this same dude, didn't get hurt or knocked down, and ended up destroying him, and the guy had never been knocked out. And as I mentioned earlier, they had to move the weight to a higher weight, which wasn't the initial plan, because Abreu came in overweight, and they didn't want to find a new opponent. So Jerron Ennis is just like, I'll beat him at whatever weight. So that's a, a testament to Jerron Ennis' confidence that he can get the job done. So this was a nice, nice bounce back win. If you guys have been following my channel, you'll know I'm a big fan of underdog stories. So I like to see this. I like to see, cause it, it's not it's not really fun for me when I get to see people who were once great and then they're just brought in to lose and get slaughtered and knocked out by everybody. Like, you know, like James Kirkland and stuff like that. I don't know. I don't really enjoy seeing that. So to see Abreu bounce back, congrats to him on a successful night and a major upset in in on that particular card. It wasn't like it was a big card or anything, but like I said, check out for Jerron Boots and his shout out to Abreu and Ego Stradamus strikes again. I did a po. I remember specifically. I did a post fight breakdown of Jerron Ennis versus Abreu and that's on the channel if you guys want to see it I mean it's, it's pretty dated now because the fight was some time ago but at the end of the day I was giving props to Jerron Boots Ennis and I told you that Abreu was nice see this is the thing there's people sometimes in boxing if fans aren't familiar with the guy's name they say the guy's trash which is not the case and I told you Abreu was was kind of nice and he has power which he displayed last night by slaughtering the the prospect right in that clip you've seen at the beginning so i told you guys abreu was nice he just wasn't nicer than jerron ennis so ego shodama strikes again subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the content and i'm out are you tired of your youtube videos not getting any views well consider tubebuddy I've used TubeBuddy for years to scale up my YouTube channel. Now we're sitting over 200,000 subscribers. TubeBuddy is a browser extension that offers a ton of built-in productivity and time-saving services to take your channel to the next level. Use my link in the description to get started with TubeBuddy and level up your channel faster. We work it.